All right. Uh, you had a question regarding spot elevations not reading correct accurately, and uh, I'm having to make a few assumptions about what the problem is, but hopefully um, this will uh, get to the heart of the problem, just knowing how they work. So the spot elevations you say are not reading accurately, and you would like them to read the finished floor height, and it is reading the slab height. So what I have right here, if I cut a section through these two floors, it's the second floor which means it's up above you know, 10 feet or so, and you've got two floors. One's right at the level datum, and one's above the level, level datum by a bit. So what I'm going to do here in the plan view, I'll place a spot elevation. And you, out of the box, I don't know what spot elevation types you have, if you've gotten rid of a few of these, but out of the box, you have several here. I will use the project elevation. So it, this reads 10 foot, right? And let's get rid of the leader and shoulder here. And place that and this one reads 11 foot 4 which is their distance vertically relative to the ground let me place another couple of spot elevations but these spot elevations I'd like to be relative to the second floor and if I change the properties here or in the type selector to target relative I get 0 foot 0 inches and 1 foot 4 I'm guessing that's the issue here you're getting these values instead of these values which are desired uh, and the difference between these two types is the property here. If I click on the type properties and uh, go down here, you'll see here for the one that reads one foot four, the elevation origin is at um, is set to relative. Okay, relative to what? Well, it's relative to the current level. That actually can be changed, and that also might be an issue. You're expecting it to read. Uh, something else and really you want the relative level to be relative to instead of the current level associated with view to level one and then you can go in here and change that uh, value the relative base and you'll see that updates okay so if you're working in at this in elevation let me go to that view and then place a couple spot elevations and this time let me give them a liter and a shoulder 10 feet, 11 foot 4, right? And maybe that's desirable, maybe it's not. Again, this is relative, it's relative to the current, uh, says it's relative to the current level. Well, actually, let me select it here. Uh, select level 1, level 2, so if I select it, to level two. The current level is actually level one in this view. That's kind of confusing, I know, since level two is the only level datum you see, but that's what the current level is associated with this section view. And so again, uh, by changing the relative base, I can get a different value or just using the right type from the get-go. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, you may have some follow-up questions. Feel free to respond via email, and I'll be happy to answer those. Thanks.